in the case of my character, which is Andres, is a little bit similar to my story. I was taught by the elders in my country to learn how to perform the traditional Cuban music. I was a, a young guy and I used to be a rock and roll player. So when I turned my eyes to the music of my country, I had the support of the old people. There were a lot of old people uh, surrounding me in my country, in my uh, neighborhood. And then uh, later, I was able to help younger people, I even elder people, to, to, to uh, reach their goals. So in certain sense, it's similar to, to my life. And uh, this is one of the reasons I was uh, attached to the history uh, of Vivo, the film. I've never been an actor in my life. I'm a musician. I'm a band leader. I have composed music for films. And uh, I have composed music for my band. I have composed music for the solo uh, musicians. And uh, I have conducted bands for uh, nearly 40 years. But I've never been an actor. And I received the helping hand of Kirk. Not only Kirk, but also Brandon many, uh, uh, Michelle, the people that was working at the film, Le Manuel is one of the most talented artists that we have here in America. He is a guy that uh, brought to stage, to the main stages, not only here in America, but worldwide, the, uh, the spirit of his community. And Lee Manuel is very talented. The music is very well written. His compositions are outstanding. Not only the compositions that I have sung in the film, but also the, the, the whole thing, the whole concept, and the way that he mixed when he was composing elements of the contemporary music with the traditional Cuban music. There are songs that are very traditional, like Mambo Cabana, which is a Cuban song. It's a very traditional uh, uh, style of music. Meanwhile, one of a kind is more freestyle, the, the more contemporary, mixing the, the elements of the Afro-Cuban music with the contemporary music. And then the, the Gavis hip hop, which is my, the Gavis rap, which is my favorite song in the film. Uh, Lee Manuel is outstanding. 